Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Canon 5DS and Canon 5D MIII. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Canon 5DS and the Canon 5D MIII are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 6th of February 2015 and the 22nd of May 2012. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Canon 5DS. For portrait photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Canon 5D MIII. For portrait photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Canon 5DS and the Canon 5D MIII. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Canon 5DS. And here are some sample photos from the Canon 5D MIII. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Canon 5DS. I purchased the Canon EOS 5DS about two and a half years ago and have absolutely no regrets. The level of detail it captures is beyond spectacular, and the image quality is comparable to a medium format at a fraction of the cost. I mainly use it for portrait photography with high-quality lenses and a large high-speed memory card. The camera is sensitive and requires faster shutter speeds for clear shots, but the ISO range can be adjusted. It is a battery hog, and a battery grip and spare batteries are recommended for extended use. Overall, I have had great success with this camera and highly recommend it for professional use. I purchased a refurbished array and it has done a remarkable job on photographs. It does not work with cameras that have an EF dash s mount so keep that in mind it has to be an ef mount here's what people have to say about the canon 5d miii the canon 5d mark iii is a great upgrade from the 5d mark ii the improved features including a seven stop bracketing lower noise and better autofocus make it a refined and enjoyable camera to use the dual axis electronic level and two card slots are also welcome additions. While the in-camera HDR is a bit lacking and the mode knob feels flimsy, I have been using the 5D3 camera and I found it to be excellent at high ISO with fast and accurate autofocus. The 22M pixels are more than enough for me, and I am impressed with the ergonomic design and button placement. However, I wish it had USB 3 for faster file transfer, and I noticed some cosmetic imperfections on the camera. Overall, I am very satisfied with the performance and form factor of the camera. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Canon 5DS. We will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Canon 5D MIII. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 